a hike with a couple of design kids. I haven't been hiking since my last vlog which was in like May and now it's November. Oh by the way there's a slight chance that today it might rain. It is about 30 or 40 percent around 12 or 1 or so. Today's weather is really nice. It's around 60 degrees or well, like mid 50s right now. Oh my favorite and it's gray. Even better. So this is our building in the morning. It's perfect. It's like a creepy haunted house. Whoa. We have one of our friends there, Sarah. Jen is the person doing the thesis. <laughs> hey there. Hey. <laughs> this morning is full of dog licking, which is good. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Turns out there's only two of us, me and Sarah, and Jen and her boyfriend. We are back at the trail Bontecue Crag, which we did for our sunrise hike a few months back. But the thing about that is I didn't know what I was doing and I was just following people. And we have Loki, Jen's daughter. And the view from the top is gonna look really, really nice. The weather's still good. So Jen is putting our hiking skills to the challenge, which for me are pretty non-existent. Sarah, how are your hiking skills? Non-existent. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you can you can never do tricks. You guys know where you're going. Based on um, that conversation right there, we are going the wrong way. But <laughs> what? <laughs> but did you read his lips? I did. But you know. If you guys saw me in Korea, life is all about going the wrong ways and ending up in the right places. I can't read maps. I could, but I don't know where we are. So we will figure out as things go. Okay, it says exit here. We're not trying to exit, but I'm going to go to that trail from Spring Farm thingamajig over there. Parking. Okay, so we are trying to go up there. And well, the crag trail is... Wait, they're north is different. Here we go. We've struggled. Well, no, not we. Here are the experts. I struggled and Sarah kind of did, but now we're going to... Look, signage is a good thing. We're going to the crag trail, which is the red trail, and that is that way. Sarah, how are you feeling? I'm good. So it's starting to drizzle a little bit, like very, very little, but the weather is really nice. My face is all red. Or is it... Look at Jen over there. This is when you realize you're on the wrong trail. That's not the red trail. We got a little help. Red markers. This is an uphill battle. Check out these leaves. They're like really, really bright. Easier? Yeah, we'll go easier. Sarah and I are matching. Hashtag Adidas, please sponsor us. So we headed towards the wrong way up there before, but we're back on path because we got some hiking experts. So we are ascending to the top. So we came from here up the Crag Trail, remember mm -hmm. that? We came to this yeah. intersection and then we took the Bonacue Road, mm -hmm. came around. This this is where we walked past. We made it to about here Yeah. before then we turned around and came back. Mm -hmm. Whoever made this, thank you. Okay, I am gonna put my camera away since we are going up here for now and I'll see you guys from up there. Are you guys okay with me on the internet? Look at Loki go. She She's a pro. Like, she's done this hike a bunch. Yeah, Loki is like legit. So I was clueless this, most of this hike, but I really enjoyed it. Well, we're not even done yet, what am I saying? I'll meet you guys on higher elevation. Look at that fall foliage. Look at that fall foliage. We'll get like a really good photo of you up here. So success, we just made it to the top. We climbed, we rock scrambled. I don't know if you guys can see. Let's see if you can see. 
Nope, you can't see. We're all the way on the top. Well, here you can get a big, better picture if you look at Jen and Tim. Isn't that amazing? That's crazy. 360 panoramic view. You feeling good, Sarah? Yeah. <laughs> My batteries are out, about to run out, but good thing I have a spare. I'm gonna cue drone shots now. Are we done with this? We're gonna hike back, yeah. We're we are done with this serene, beautiful view. Yeah, oh, it was so nice. Within. Yep, they are. Rain is kind of... Do you want pulling. a photo? <laughs> yeah, so we're doing this as part of Jen's thesis project, which has to do with hiking, making maps, and clueless hikers. Helping navigation. Clu navigation. Outdoor navigation. <laughs> yes, so yeah, we were invited to do this very cool hike and Jen hooked us up with some RX, an RX bar, which is great. I hiked this before, but this time, I think a little more. I learned a little more about hiking, maps, becoming lost, what it's like to hike with a pro, pros. Overall, I hope you guys enjoy this scenic view. I don't think I'm gonna vlog the way back because we have to climb down this and I always hate taking out my camera each way. No, we're climbing it, down. Oh, we're not? We're not, where are we going? There's another way to go down. Okay, I lied. We're not going down this. We're not this. climbing back down that way. Okay, I never went down the different way, so... Yay, good. Something Yay, new for, okay, for okay. You. More cluelessness. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm going to meet you guys back in the parking lot because the most scenic <laughs> view was around here. And We're it's starting to down. rain a little bit. Two marker. Path curves. Got it. Ooh. The making of an Instagram photo. <laughs> see, I might have said this before to see like what it's like when you're not really like a pro hiker or just like know your hiking things, such as reading a map, using compass. But that was great learning from these experiences. And of course, great that people like Jen is doing her project. Has Do you think Jen people even read out? this? This is like so small. Like know your route and how to get back to the trailhead yeah i didn't read it like jen said doesn't say no drones allowed <laughs> so that's a good thing <laughs> we weren't doing anything illegal right i'll make some lunch cool. yeah. all right we're going to huckleberry we just got back to new Paltz. i'm going with sarah we're having some we're having some brunch together right it's like one yeah. o'clock or something so this should be fun i've never tried huckleberry but apparently it has very good reviews Going upstairs. Huh? This isn't brunch food. <laughs> I got a white quinoa burger, I mean white bean quinoa burger with sweet potato fries and Sarah got French toast. Something that's very cool here is they have a whole bunch of board games that you can take. And, and for me, I really love Monopoly. But Monopoly takes like hours and hours. So we're gonna just gonna take a connect four. Nice, nice. I'm so ready to put this here. Good. Oh, look at this. Taste test with these sweet potato fries. I don't know what the sauce is. I think that's tomato sauce. It could be a little crispier. If I had to rate Huckleberry on a rice scale, in between a scoop of rice and a bowl of rice, closer to a scoop though because like the sweet potato fries weren't crispy and whatnot and it's raining sarah are you leaving bye sarah would you like to rate it on a rice scale what does that mean it's a scoop of rice a, a scoop bowl of rice? of rice for the atmosphere for the atmosphere bye, bye. <laughs> i'm gonna head back to 
campus, get some work done. But overall, I hope you guys like this short day of hiking and eating at Huckleberry. There wasn't much going on. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But as always, take my words with a grain of rice.